What is going on world? What's up everyone? It's Zero here. Today I'm bringing you guys a brand new StarCraft 2 video. This one is between two players on the WCS Pro Circuit. Spawning here in the bottom right hand corner of Catalyst LE, playing with the blue Zerg pieces. He's currently up one game to nothing and wants to take a commanding lead in this game. His name is Serral. And his opponent in the cross position playing with the red zerg pieces she's currently down in this series but certainly not out she wants to get this series back in her favor her name is scarlet so guys you guys can check out game number one between these two players on the youtube channel right now and listen guys i'm really excited to see this game in particular you know game number two to really see how scarlet is going to react to being down one to nothing against the best player currently in the entire world and that is Cyril. Uh, Cyril has been playing um, absolutely out of his mind kind of StarCraft 2 and so I'm I'm excited to see how she reacts and is Cyril going to go for a little bit of some cheese in game number two because that is something that uh, I think would be really really uh, interesting to say the least if we get a little bit of some cheese at some point in this series between these two players and just see how each player uh, decides to react. So Scarlet's going to go for a hatch gas pool, relatively standard opening, and the same can be said for Serral. So very similar uh, build orders, at least at this point in the game here. It doesn't look like it's phasing Scarlet too much at this point, being down 0-1, uh, to one, and I'm wondering, you know, if she's going to go into a little bit more of an aggressive build this game, or if she's going to kind of let Serral dictate the pace of the game and just kind of react as he... Uh, as he plays, I feel like if you're playing a, a player of the uh, of the likes of Serral, you really got to put the aggression on consistently throughout the match. Um, it's going to keep him off uh, his toes a little bit, or on his toes, and uh, I, I think that's really important when you're when you're playing someone who's who's so good uh, like uh, like Serral. So should be interesting, to say the least. But, that being said, everybody, let's get into this game here. It looks like both players are going to get a couple of queens here. They're also getting that Zergling speed upgrade, which is usually pretty standard as, like, the very first upgrade that a Zerg player gets uh, in his build order or her build order. Um, it's just usually relatively standard. The third base has gone down here for Serral, and the same can be said for Scarlet. So, both players are kind of... Uh, Giving each other mutual respect here, which is really, I, I think, really good. I cannot wait to see what happens in this game, man. Oh, God. These two players, they go at it. And, and, and they're fun to watch. Scarlet is, is such a fan favorite. People love watching Scarlet. I love watching her, too. She's a lot of fun to watch. She, she puts on a lot of aggression, generally speaking. She's a very, uh, very good Zerg player. Um, and, and just people love that are, are fans of esports are fans of, of starcraft 2 love watching her she's just a lot of fun and and she uh she gets a lot of you know hype around around uh, her builds and just what she her strategies i mean it's really cool man so she does have a decent amount of uh zerglings coming out onto the map at least at this point there is a uh, you know a, a decent amount of zerglings they're gonna try to get the cancel here on this third base of uh, of Sarah right now and I, i'm really liking this decision here by by scarlet she is making uh you know really trying to nibble away at this uh at this third base here of Sarah. Uh, i love this decision by uh, on her part here and these uh, Banelings, you got to be very careful here. The Banelings are trying to get a massive connection. That's exactly what Cyril just got there. Got a really nice connection on some of those Zerglings. But uh, she was able to nibble away at this third base location. So, all that being said and done, Cyril did get a better connection there out of those units. And uh, it looks like he's got more and more Banelings that are going to be coming up here. Roach Warren is on that production tab, so the Roach Warren is going to be coming up here. So, uh, I, you know, guys, right now, Cyril, you do not want to give him an early advantage, and he's got an early advantage at this point. If you are Scarlet, you really want to start putting on more pressure, um, I would say, because you do not want to give uh, Cyril an inch at this point. So Scarlet is uh, getting up her own Baneling Nest at this point. 
And I think uh, Cyril is Cyril's gonna you know play this pretty smart. I think I think he's gonna he's gonna try to macro up a pretty uh, a pretty big force and just slowly but surely overwhelm his opponent. Uh, these Zerglings are going after Scarlet. Scarlet's trying to see if there's any other uh, bases up at this point, and there are not. She's got a lot of roaches coming. Okay, I love this. She is getting super aggressive here, guys. All that's on the production tab are more and more Banelings as well as roaches, and I think, guys, that right here and right now, Scarlet wants to end the game here. She is getting so aggressive. I love this by Scarlet. Getting very aggressive, and it looks like Cyril does have a decent force at this point. But it looks like more and more Banelings and Roaches are going to be coming up on that production tab. And it looks like this is where the fight is going to be held at the third base location of Cyril. And it looks like those Banelings are really getting no value, at least at this point. And those Banelings are really not doing much. And at the same time, Cyril has overwhelmed his opponent once again, getting the surround on those Roaches. Oh my god, what a devastating, devastating blow to our, uh, to our red Zerg player. It looks like Cyril is going to start moving across the map right here and right now. I think now Cyril is smelling blood. He wants to end this game now. The overextension, or I should say the impeccable defense by Cyril... Uh, has, has triggered in all, like uh, uh, an approach of attacking, and I love how Cyril is still getting more and more drones. This isn't going to be an all-in on his part by any stretch of the imagination, but he does want to uh, just you know put on some aggression of his own on the opposite side of the map here. Those banelings! Oh my God! You do not want to uh, to run those those zerglings into those banelings like that. These roaches, there's two fights going on at once right now. These uh, these zerglings are being dealt with right now. And it looks like Cyril is trying so hard to get the win here. He is absolutely surrounding this army once again. The queens are getting surrounded and all of these other units. But I think he might be overextending as well. Oh my god. What? I mean, these two players are trading blows with one another. And uh, it's absolutely, it is classic ZVZ. Absolutely classic watching watching this uh, this happen. Like, just absolutely incredible. I love watching ZVZ because it's so many mind games, but it's also all about the defense. You really know if you're a good StarCraft player, if you have really good defense or your defense is just as good, uh, if not better, than your offense. And, uh, you know, Cyril has proven that he is an incredible defender, but you don't want to know something. I feel the same can be said for Scarlet. And all of these Zerglings are now running around trying to get as much information as possible. And they are going to run right into the main base here. They're going to try to get the kills on a bunch of these drones. This could be absolutely devastating if Scarlet doesn't get there in enough time. And uh, lucky enough, the... The, uh, the defense is on point here for Scarlet, but there's another wave of Zerglings that's going to be coming here, probably trying to get to that second base location, and Scarlet has done just an absolutely brilliant job at holding off her opponent at this point in the game. Very well done. Some of these uh, drones are going down. The surround on the Queen has gone down, and it looks like uh, Cyril and Scarlet once again are still kind of trading blows. I will have to say, though, that Cyril has definitely, he's in the lead right now. He's uh, taken a commanding lead, at least at this point. But, oh my god, what a, what a, uh, what an intense game right now. I mean, both players are both trying to put on at least a little bit of some aggression here. These uh, Zerglings are over here in this top right-hand corner. And I'm, we're going to have to keep an eye on that. Because Cyril is probably going to run, uh, try to do, uh, hit, get, you know, hit this mineral line with some banelings. Uh, there is a big possibility of that. It looks like these, uh, these, uh, these zerglings are once again getting a huge connection. Very well done by Scarlet. And slowly but surely, Scarlet is really bringing herself back into this game. She's still down pretty heavy on the supply. These Banelings are just chilling here, and it looks like they're going to try to move into the mineral line. Are they going to get the big connection? They're going to get a big connection! They're going to get a lot of drones there, and that does hurt a lot. Uh, that does hurt quite a bit, but uh, like I said, Scarlet is not out of this game just yet. She is still in this game uh, a thousand percent. It's just, you know, the army of Cyril is getting bigger and bigger. Look at all these roaches that are coming across the map. He wants to end this game, I think, really soon. 
So that is Cyril, I should say. Cyril's got a pretty big army here, and he's moving towards his third base. He's been fighting and fighting and fighting at this third base location. I think he's got a lot of roaches here. He's going to probably put these units together and go for an all-in here. Um, it's just, this is classic Cyril here. Splitting up his units, he wants to get the he wants to get some some of these kills here right here and right now. I don't know how long Scarlet's going to be able to hold on here, at least at this point, because this is a menacing army. At least at this point, there is a huge army here at the front doors of Scarlet's, and I wonder if there's enough here for her to hold on against this this beast of a player that is Cyril. She's done so good up to this point, but I think there just might be a little bit too much Cyril. GG is called, and Cyril takes a commanding lead in uh, this series that has been very evenly fought and uh, a very exciting match of ZVZ. I hope you guys did enjoy this game between Cyril and Scarlin, and if you guys did, leave a thumbs up, subscribe for new, stay positive, and as always, I will see you guys all in the next one. Peace.